Relationship Advice Update My wife stopped taking her birth control without informing me. Original Post My wife and I have been married almost 9 months. We tied the knot last December. We came into the relationship both wanting children, however we had mutually discussed and agreed to wait until we owned a home, I finished school, and we had our finances in order more to start trying. The entirety of our relationship, she's been on the pill as her preferred method of birth control. My wife is out having dinner with her parents tonight while I'm hanging out at the house with some friends. She had ordered groceries to be delivered earlier today, and when they arrived I, of course, started to put things away. One of the items she purchased was a pregnancy test, which was such a shock that I literally felt my stomach drop when I saw it. Immediately I called her, and asked why on earth she ordered a pregnancy test. Turns out about a month ago, she decided to stop taking her pill because she thought we were ready for children. I asked why she wouldn't get my input on something so huge, and she replied that she wanted to surprise me. I told her there's literally a hundred different surprises that I would prefer currently, told her I'd see her later, and ended the call. Her period is due later this week, so unless she plans on taking it early, we won't know if she's pregnant for a few days. I'm livid. We are not in a position to become parents currently. I certainly don't want to be bringing a newborn into the world during a pandemic. I don't know if it's justified considering we are married and both eventually want children, but I feel absolutely betrayed that she would make a decision like this behind my back. We had even agreed that if somehow, we got pregnant while she was on the pill, that we wouldn't go through with the pregnancy. I know she'll be coming home soon, and honestly, I don't even want to look at her right now or know what to say. Am I right to be upset about this? What should I do? I'm currently working a full-time job while pursuing my masters, I literally do not have the time to be a suitable parent. Edit, she just texted me. I'm so sorry that you're reacting this way. You've seemed really unhappy lately, and I thought you would consider this good news. Now for the top advice before reading the update. This is completely messed up, but what also stands out to me is her apology. Saying she's sorry you're reacting this way does not equal her being sorry for her actions. I agree. She's always been a terrible apologizer because she rarely thinks she's wrong. OP, she may be a crappy apologizer, but that pales in comparison to what she just did. What she did requires action, counseling for the two of you. I mean, you cannot trust her going forward. She doesn't think she did anything wrong, so she's going to need to hear it in many different ways. Show her info online about that term, reproductive coercion. Hell. Show her these comments as so many are rightfully calling her out. To her, you are wrong and she's right, and it's hard to believe that a grown adult can be that far off the beaten path. What she did and her reaction, is a huge red flag, and red flags of that level can't just be ignored. Well, they can, but it will come home to roost at some point in time if you give it short shrift. Any apology that starts with I'm sorry you're, is not an apology. Starting a family is a decision you make together not something you trick your partner with. The fact she claims she thought he would like it, is just so asinine and manipulative. OP says she's not a good apologizer, um, no. She's just not a good person. Wendy Williams advised her viewers to do this. Your spouse was feeling insecure in the relationship and feels this gives her more power. If you think she was honest when she agreed to terminate an unwanted pregnancy, you're wrong. If she's not pregnant, file. Still file for divorce even if she's pregnant. And now for the update. I never expected the amount of replies I ended up receiving on my post, nor did I even realize the gravity of my wife's betrayal at the time of posting. I had a lot of people comment or reach out asking for an update, so here goes. I had made the decision that until we knew if she was pregnant or not that, I just wanted some distance to think slash cool down from my initial anger and shock. I told the wife this, and spent a few days over at a buddy's house trying to process everything. Ironically, my wife's birthday fell within the days I wasn't home, so she's been extremely pissed at me, too. She ended up informing me this morning that she got her period, and asked if that means I'm coming home now. I'm still feeling extremely betrayed by her, and although we did dodge the bullet this time around, I have so little trust in my wife now that I don't know if our relationship will be salvageable. I'd rather be a young divorcee than feel like I need to keep my condoms in a lockbox or something, to prevent my own spouse from tampering with them. I'm not 100% sure if therapy would even be worth it, considering she's still infallible in her own mind, but I guess if she sees the light and genuinely apologizes soon, I'd be willing to pursue it just because I do love her. As far as I'm concerned, 
the ball's in her court and if she wants to try and make this right, it's going to take some actions on her part that show she's truly sorry and willing to earn my trust back. I'm not sure that even if she does make the effort, that our relationship is repairable at this point, but maybe after some extensive couples therapy, we can figure out exactly where our relationship went wrong where she thought that behavior would be acceptable. Thanks, Reddit. Now for some top comments. Ironically, my wife's birthday fell within the days I wasn't home, so she's been extremely pissed at me, too. Gotta say, this doesn't bode well, because it seems she obviously doesn't understand why you'd be upset and might miss her birthday. OP, please take that information into consideration. It seems there is a severe lack of ability to look outside of herself and her own interests, as well as a lack of moral compass. She is your spouse, but I would consider thinking how you see your life together progressing. You've only been married for 9 months, and if she's pulling this destructive crap now with no remorse, where will you be even 5 years down the line? OP, please remember that there's a difference between apologizing for what she did, genuine remorse, and apologizing for getting caught. And the classic, I'm sorry that you got upset. The problem is, she will probably just do and say whatever you tell her to in order not to divorce, she won't actually mean any of it because she doesn't think she did anything wrong and she will never accept that she was in the wrong for this. Same with therapy, she would just say whatever she needs to in order to get what she wants, because in her mind, as long as she gets what she wants, then she is never wrong. If you stay, you will be staying with someone you can't trust with anything, ever. Because she doesn't think she did anything wrong. Exactly. If she did, she wouldn't be pissed at OP for missing her birthday, because she'd understand that it was her fault. The next story is titled Update my wife baby trapped me Original post I put baby trap in quotation marks Because I'm not sure what she did is the actual definition of baby trap She didn't have a kid to make me stay Just against my will So, my wife, 32 female And I, 34 male Have been together for 8 years We have a little girl, 5 And a baby boy, 2 I love both of them more than anything and I finally feel like I have everything. A beautiful wife, two healthy kids, a great career, and a big house. The token American dream, minus the dog cause I'm allergic. When we talked about kids before, my wife always said she wanted two. I only wanted one, it would be easier and we'd have more money for vacations and stuff, but my wife maintained it's important for a child to have a sibling. I grew up with four and my wife with none, so I guess I understand where she's coming from. After our son, and getting through the baby years and sleepless nights for the second time, I didn't want to ever go through that again. Both kids were very fussy and colicky. But when he was a year old, my wife began casually mentioning a third. I would laugh it off, but finally, she sat me down and said we have to have a third. I said no, we agreed on two, but she said she wanted four and three is the compromise. I refused and said I wanted one and we have two. She got angry and called me selfish for taking away her dream of wanting a big family. A couple days later, she apologized and we had X. I noticed her drive increased exponentially, but so did mine and I was happy to engage her. She was on birth control, I had protection, it was all good. Thinking back on it, I probably should have figured something was up, but I was barely handling two little kids and work, on top of housework and yard work and everything. I came home from work one day, while the kids were at their grandparents. My wife had a huge smile on her face and she sat me down and showed me a positive pregnancy test, literally dancing in joy. My first thought was, oh crap. My wife noticed a less than happy expression on my face and started screaming at me. She berated me for not being supportive, and this was a miracle from God and I should be grateful. I said I was sorry and hugged her, and said I was super excited for the baby. My wife was delighted and later that night she was calling all family and friends to happily tell them the news. When she was talking about the nursery and how we'll convert my office into a room, I started to get a little suspicious. Everything was so well thought out, and it seemed like she'd been planning this for a while. When she was asleep, I took the condoms out of the cupboard and ran them underwater. Holes. I nabbed her phone and saw she'd set a password. That was odd. Nevertheless, my wife has a terrible memory so I tried her birthday and it opened. Further up, were texts with her and best friend of my wife, complaining how I wouldn't come around. Her best friend suggested arranged an accident with a winky face. My wife agreed and said she was going to come off of birth control. It went on for a little while, ending with my wife saying that yes, we were going to have a third. 
So, I woke her up immediately and asked her if this had really been a miracle? She got that deer in headlights look and burst into tears. She wailed, and then she got angry. Through tears, she screamed I had no right to go through her phone, and it's her choice whether or not she wants to take birth control, the side effects are bad and she was sick. She also brought up, if I really didn't want a third kid, I should have had a vasectomy that told me to go sleep on the couch. I laughed out loud and said no, I'm sleeping here, you're leaving. So, while wailing she packed a bag and left to her parents. When she called the next day, I told her I just need some time to myself. She said that's fine, but I need to come around for our child. I told her I wasn't sure if it'd be our child, and she cried more. It's been two weeks since then. Governments recommended to stay at home, and I knew staying home by myself while also working with two kids, would not be ideal, and she wanted to see our kids. So, we're in the same house, she constantly keeps on stopping me and trying to get me excited for our kid, and planning the nursery and names, and how happy our kids will be to get a younger sibling. I've been ignoring her entirely. What do I do? Staying home with her is bad enough and I don't know if I should leave her over this. I don't trust her anymore. She entirely betrayed it. I'm angry. But I have another child on the way. Now for the top advice before the update. Reproductive coercion. This is a form of abuse. Speak with a lawyer and get a therapist. This is not okay. Are lawyers going to meet with me in the quarantine? I don't even know if therapist offices are still open. I guess I should try to voice chat or something, that might work. This just sucks so much. I hate everything about this. This, is awful. Not only was she being selfish, but what kind of messed up mother thinks it's a good idea to bring a child into the world against the wishes of her partner? That hurts the child beyond measure, because the father will never bond with that child the way he bonded with the other. She has seriously, seriously hurt that baby. It's selfish, short-sighted, and incredibly. I don't even have the right words. As a mother myself, my heart is just hurting for that child. I personally wouldn't be with someone like that. But, a situation like this is above Reddit's pay grade. It's a delicate, ethical thing that only you should decide going forward. No one would blame you if you left her, but you need to decide how to proceed with the baby. I would really encourage you talk to a counselor, betterhelp.com and talkspace.com are both online options for the time being. If you want to ask her to leave, you are well within your right to do so. You could give her a bunch of resources to find an apartment, or call one of her family members to ask if she could stay. Maybe give her some counseling resources as well, because you have to be seriously ill to think this is okay. I wish you the best. This is a hard situation and I'm so sorry it happened to you especially in the middle of a freaking pandemic. I don't think she planned to tell me, and I guess she was thinking if I did find out, I'd love the kid too much to think any different. I just don't know what to do, and I hate being stuck in a house with her. The kids have started to ask why I won't talk to mommy, and I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm so mad at her but I can't leave two toddlers for her to wrangle. It'd be a 100% deal breaker for me. The lying, the manipulation, and leveraging your kids. No going back from that. But what do I do? I'm stuck in a house with her. The kids have noticed I'm ignoring her. She won't leave me alone. And now for the update. Hey guys. The other post got way more attention than I expected, so I figured you guys probably deserve an update. To start, yes, I get it, I know how it looks. There's a lot of comments calling BS, some called it MRO fiction, it's perfectly balanced and so on. Yeah, I know. My life feels like a joke right now. Honestly, there's little point in me trying to defend it. Because first of all, if you don't reply to comments saying it's wrong, you're intentionally ignoring them because they're right, and if you do, you're trying way too hard to patch up the holes. It doesn't really matter what I say, you guys won't believe me. And at this point it doesn't even matter because I'm looking for advice, I don't care if you think it's true. So, let's start from the beginning. Wife is still at home. I'm going out of my mind. Kids don't understand what's happening, and keep on asking why I won't talk to mommy. Blah blah blah. It's been close to a month since then, and I've been following the advice I saw. I lied and said I was going for a drive, she tried to come along, but it's a two-person limit per car and who's looking after the kids then? I called my dad's best friend, she's a lawyer and told her everything. I screenshotted the texts and sent them to myself, and at night time, I asked her to talk and pressed my phone on record and I asked her why she did it and she went on about completing our family, and how we need a third kid. 
and she knows I'll love them more than anything when they're born. She apologized profusely as well, and told me she knew she hadn't gone about it the right way and she should have accepted it, and I'm within my rights to do what I want, but please stay for the kid, and now that it's on the way, we can take it positively. Anyway, that brings us to today. I'm back on civil terms with my wife and I've started acting like everything's okay between us. She's happy. The kids are happy and excited for their new sibling. Everything's going great, except for the divorce being planned. I've got the evidence and I've got the lawyer, and I'm preparing to present her with papers. I've talked to my lawyer about how it's going to go because of quarantine, and where we are, technology is being used. Online documents and video conferencing, this thing called ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution. So that's pretty much it. I've got all my ducks in a row. My wife doesn't know anything. I think I'm doing fine. But I have a lot of doubts. Every day when we go to bed, she kisses me, and when she thinks I'm asleep she always whispers about how she loves me. Waking up next to her is sad because I know time is running out. She always makes me breakfast in the morning. She hugs me all throughout the day. She's happy and close with me, and thinks all our problems are solved and I feel so guilty with what I'm doing. It just feels like everything's going so smoothly, the kids are enjoying quarantine and we're all doing stuff together as a family, and I'm just about to drop a nuclear bomb on all this. I kind of hate that everything's going so well, and how happy everyone is. I just want to make everything that goes ahead comfortable for my kids, and for my wife. Any advice on how? Now for the closing comments. She's only happy in being nice to you because she just totally violated her trust, and now you appear to be caving and accepting what she did. Don't feel guilty. Yup, she got what she wanted, and she's elated. This was a wild ride, something tells me she won't just accept divorce papers. Can you decline them? I mean I'm really asking. I have no idea how it goes in America, because where I live, one person wanting a divorce is enough to start proceedings. You're right, that it's about to be a big bomb on everything, but it's what you need to do after being betrayed. I recommend not reciprocating her romance and advances, and start distancing yourself now. It's better to be honest in your feelings instead of being deceitful, for the both of you. This is coming from a woman. Don't sink to petty revenge levels. Good luck with everything. It's not exactly about petty revenge, but I don't want her to know I'm planning a divorce. In cases like these especially, being prepared is an absolute necessity. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.